my family to yours, my dear people of Mikud North. I extend the warmest Christmas greetings and wishes for good health and prosperity in 2022. As we celebrate this season, we need to remain thankful for the gift of life bestowed upon us. Quite a few of our constituents of Mikud North, St. Lucians, and friends worldwide have lost lives due to the COVID-19 pandemic. My deepest and sincerest condolences are extended to those who lost family, friends, and loved ones during this year. I pray that the good Lord brings you comfort, and I would like to encourage you to remain positive and optimistic as we continue to adopt to this new normal and ride the challenges that this pervasive virus has presented us. In July of this year, you entrusted your confidence in me to represent your interests and champion our collective vision to make our constituency a viable, economically thriving place that will benefit all of us. This responsibility I hold very seriously, and as such, I wish to reassure you that as your representative, I will do all within my control to ensure your comfort and well-being during these times. There is lots of work to be done. However, we can only achieve this if we share the collective vision, effectively plan, and remain focused on its execution. I am very optimistic that with your support, the competencies of the installed constituency council alongside my office and the many related projects of central government, we will witness game-changing projects and initiatives in Mikud North in time to come. I am very excited about the work plan of my office that is perfectly synchronized with that of council. This plan incorporates four pillars for strategic intervention. They include an economic plan that considers agriculture and fisheries and community tourism. The sector development plan as a second pillar, it underpins a broader interest of central government focusing on education, youth empowerment, social and welfare development, health and elderly, disaster risk management, peace, order, and public safety. The third pillar will address physical infrastructure and endeavor to address matters relating to our road infrastructure, water resources, and land rationalization program. We will also seek to efficiently utilize the existing public buildings to maximize opportunities for all. Our final pillar will build on the council's work by ensuring our constituency beautification remains intact, thereby providing a pleasant environment since taking office, I have engaged government ministries, foreign embassies, international, regional, and local project implementation agencies, private sector groups, business support organizations, individuals from the Mikud North diaspora, among others. We have discussed some planned and envisaged initiatives that will benefit our constituency and improve the livelihood of our people. By all indications, there is much interest in our constituency that we need to prepare to embrace that will benefit without losing our, authentic, our authenticity collectively. In 2022, my office, alongside the Constituency Council, will aspire to act on some of what I refer to as low-hanging fruits. These are projects, initiatives that were in train to completion. Among them, include the opening of the Mikud Wellness Center, the Mikud Jetty, the opening of the Pralin Fishing Complex, the handing over of the new wing at the Mikud Secondary School, the commissioning of the Mikud Vendors Market as a sustainable, economically viable facility that will benefit our farmers. Our constituency is pregnant with opportunities and touristic potential. With excitement, I also like to report on my ongoing engagement with key consultants in developing a robust community tourism program for Mikud North. I am confident that the rollout of this program will deliver long-term benefits to all from the Tomasi River right down to the Pralin Beach. Details will be shared with you in the coming months through town hall meetings. The development of the youth remains a focal point for me. We need to meet our young people where they are the digital era. Towards this end, several strategic interventions, projects 
and programs are being developed in conjunction with the youth economy. These programs promise to be all-encompassing, considering youth in sports, youth entrepreneurs, and capacity building for our young people. Therefore, we will also seek to roll out a youth career mentorship program in the digital economy that will sustainably introduce youth of Mikud North to non-traditional 21st century careers. Moving forward, I endeavor to keep you continually informed on the developments within our constituency. Having said this, we are in an advanced phase of an integrated constituency website that will serve as a central information point. We hope to launch this within the first quarter of 2022. In addition to constituency days and weekly walkabout, my calendar for 2022 also includes quarterly town hall meetings throughout the constituency. I trust that these engagements will allow for sharing of ideas and information. My fellow constituents, you are a valuable resource that should not be taken for granted. Every effort must be placed on your well-being and creating opportunities for generations to come. I am conscious of the fact that we will have adversaries. Let us not allow them to derail us, but rather let us aspire to have them buy into our collective vision. Our collaborative efforts will determine our success and strengthen our competencies to take full advantage of what is to come. I hope that these festive seasons bring you renewed hope and faith. And as you celebrate, I encourage you to celebrate your life and the goodness of God. Please remember the less fortunate, the sick, and the shutting as you do celebrate. I also implore you to do so responsibly within the established COVID-19 protocols, as we do not want to be victims of yet another wave. Please stay safe, and God bless you abundantly with your heart's richest desire in 2022. Thank you.